Hello everyone, it's a little bit of a rainy day here on the porch, but I think it's time that I share with you another great dowry application that I have received. This one is quite extensive and very thorough, but includes a beautiful little gem which I will share at the end. So stay around for it. Let's get into it. Good morning to the esteemed mother and father. I am submitting this application on behalf of myself. Quite bold, if I may add. I am a 22-year-old single mother of a beautiful two-month-old daughter. I served in the Navy as a nuclear engineer, ETN, before my medical discharge. I am currently pursuing a bachelor's degree and hoping to double major in nuclear and electrical engineering. Quite smart of you. I am rational, calm, and have a strong sense for adventure, making me an interesting companion in this wonderful journey of life. I solve problems with logic, and have worked extensively to gain significant mental health growth and emotional awareness and maturity. Lovely trait as well. I've been through a lot in my life, so I'm not without my problems. But who hasn't? Good honesty. Now, for the author. I have a well-trained cat and lizard who make amazing travel companions as well as loving housemates. Both are accustomed to and enjoy being around other cats, dogs, infants, toddlers, and people. Very nice. I also am a very crafty person, having to work with any medium, including bones, wood, paint, leather, and fabric mediums. I may not have much in physical assets, but I am an exceptional seamstress, able to hand anything from quilts to elaborate costumes with custom fittings and make alterations for existing clothing. A rare trait these days, indeed. I've worked into children's ministry most of my life, as well as gotten my own food, as we call it, from the Baptist Church. I've been taught by our town's favorite diabetic how to cook delicious meals that always induce food comas, and I'm never afraid to try something new. I'm well organized and a very type A, making me great event planner or vacation planner. I hope to make it to some point of consideration and do appreciate you allowing me to apply. Best wishes and luck finding this suitable candidate. Attached are photos and a full resume, which she did include. Now, this dowry application on its own stands very well. But there's one added feature that was hidden in the very beginning that strikes a chord with me directly. That's this. Aww. That's right. That beautiful two-month-old that she was talking about in the beginning? I want to eat her little toes. She's so damn cute. And I know that it's absolutely selfish of me to desire a grandchild, but you know what? These little sh** of children owe it to me. And none of them have ponied up yet, so... Maybe I'm going to sell Nick off in order to get a grandchild. It's quite an awesome idea for me, I do believe. Now all I have to do is convince him of that. Because the missus is 100% on board. As for you, young lady, thank you for the very thorough application. I do appreciate it, and of course we won't release your name, but we may be in touch very, very soon. As for Nick, he was warned. <laughs> 